Yo, what's going on? It's 5M Creation bringing back another video on how to install and create an SQL database with XAMPP for your 5M server in 2025. If you guys are currently looking for another 5M server to play on for the meantime while you're creating your project, you can join my Discord. The link will be on the bottom of the screen and it'll also be posted into the comments in the description. If you guys want to support my work, you can head over to the same Discord. Once you join, it will send you to the welcome tab. From there, you can scroll up till you see events, browse channels, and server shop. Click on server shop and you should be able to see three tiers that are available. From there, you you could read each tier individually because they all have different benefits and perks if you want to peek behind the scenes on what videos i'll be creating next that would be the super supporter tier hopefully i see you guys there now let's get right into the video all right to get started we're going to be downloading xampp for our sql database i'm going to also be making another video this coming weekend that's going to be doing mariah db so that's going to be a better one but in today's video i'm going to do xampp and let's get right into it so what you guys want to do is open up an internet browser and you want to type in XAMPP and hit enter. Once you see it should pop up this little tab right here, Apache, and just click on this one, the first one that pops up. And then you want to download XAMPP for Windows because that's what that's what we're using. Wait for it to download. It should download automatically. If it doesn't, just click here. All right, there we go. It pops up and hit save. All right, that's one of the two things we need. So what else we're gonna need if you just wanna open up a new tab? You wanna go into the search browser and you wanna type in OX MySQL or SQL, my bad. And then you wanna scroll down to where you say overextended.dev, OX MySQL documentation. When this one pops up, click on this one. And I also have it in the link in the description. Now you guys want to scroll down to where you see latest release. Click latest release, scroll down. Press OX MySQL zip and it should download. Now, if you guys just want to close out this tab, but keep this tab open because later in the video, we're going to have to set our SQL strings. Now, you can just minimize the web browser and you can open up your file explorer. Now, you just want to open it up and go to your downloads and you want to download XAMPP. So, just double click on the application and hit yes. Hit OK, hit Next, hit Next, and then hit Next, then hit Next again, Next again, <laughs> and we're just going to wait for XAMPP to download. Then you just want to click finish. Then from here, you're going to want to start Apache and then you're going to start MySQL. Okay. Once you press that, you can open back up your web browser that you're going to use and then you can click on admin and it should pop this page up for you automatically. We can minimize this. Could extend this. Now, before we do that, we're going to want to install my OX my, MySQL. So what you want to do is double click, right click on it, go to WinRAR, extract files. If you guys don't, or if you guys aren't using something to extract, you can use 7-Zip or WinRAR. Personally, I use WinRAR and then press OK. Now you want to open up your uh, resource file. Um, if you guys have been watching the whole series, I told you to put your resource file right here. You make a little shortcut and you just want to double click on that. Then you want to head over to resources. Now I'm going to do some organization purposes only. You guys can do the same if you want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to add new, add new folder, put in these bars. I'm going to put in 
custom paid scripts and this is going to be set for some later videos that i'm going to do that's going to use mysql and we can refresh custom page click into it and then you want to open up a new folder and you can name it to whatever but i'm going to add it um, new video for the next video that i'm going to be releasing so you can name it to something different but in the next video i'm going to show you where we're going to rename it it's going to be a little surprise so just double click on the new folder you added now you just want to go back to ox my sql double click on it double click oh no go back one and then you guys just want to control x or just hit copy and then you want to paste it over here and you want to double click on it and copy its name and go back to your server cfg and go back over here where the resources start by default and ensure ox my sql well, that's it for this part you want to keep this server cfg open <clears throat> Open back up that web browser. We can full screen it. Then you just want to click on the new tab. All right, sorry about that. I had to fix my page, it was all messed up. Now I just switch it back to white mode. Now you just want to click on this bar, or actually click on that. Get out of our way, we can minimize this a little bit. Scoot it over. Now you want to click on MySQL. And you want to go to privileges. You want to do add user account. Now, what do you want to have your username? I'm going to add mine. 5m creation you can add whatever you want it and then for the password i'm just going to use the same for now but you can add it to however you're going to have it so i'm going to add it 5m i'm just going to copy my name for the sake of the video it's going to be extremely weak and then you just want to go over to where it says global privileges and hit check all and then create a database with the same name and generate all privileges and then you want to scroll down and press go and boom, that should create create us a database. Now from here, what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the OX MySQL database again, or the documentation, and you wanna copy these um, set MySQL strings. Now you just wanna hit Control C, just copy this little platform right here, and go back over to your server CFG. Now underneath it, you just wanna paste them. Now, it just depends on what scripts you're using sometimes these equals with these colons right here sometimes it messes up and it won't allow you to uh, connect to your connection string so um, some scripts that i was using messed up so i think it was on this one right here but that has been fixed for my case but personally i like using this one it's just a lot better so i'm just going to minimize that one or not minimize i'm going to put a, a hashtag in front of that one to exit that command out and where it says set my sql connection string so for user it's going to be your root so mine was 5m creation and then the password was the same thing and i'm just going to copy paste that and then for your host it's going to equal local host and then for your port number so the original port number when we installed xampp was 3306 so don't change that unless you change it to something else and then you want to go to the, the database equals and then I also set it to my name. So it's just going to be 5M creation. And then you just want to hit Control S or just go up to the file and save. Now we can minimize that. Now, if you see right here, it's going to say slow query warnings. What you want to do is you just want to copy the same command. And this is just case if your SQL gets overloaded, open up your CFG and just set this below it. And then hit Control S. Now, what you can do is you can run your 5M server and it should automatically connect to your database. So I'm gonna go to server. I'm gonna go to FX server and run it. And boom, now your database server connection is established and we're connected to our database. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, just let me know if you guys are having any trouble down below and I'll try to answer the best of my problem. And remember, next video, I'm going to show you how to do MariahDB and not XAMPP. Uh, I think MariahDB is just a little bit better, in my opinion. You know, if your computer, if your, like, computer crashes or something, you'll lose most of your data with XAMPP. So that's why I use MariahDB. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.